4,700. 4,700, the population of Najmarosh. Look at that beautiful detail up there. A real historic medieval place. Oh, and that's uh, the castle up there. Yeah, Visegrad Castle will be going there later this afternoon. Got a nice little sandy beach, children's playground, Picnic Manufactura. One of the best bars, outdoor patios, restaurants on the whole Duna Kanyar. Love that place. Terrific, terrific on a warm summer's day. Look at these hachu. They eat, they eat corn, that's what it is. Eating some kukoritsa. Wait, hachu, isn't that that street we were on earlier? Hachu house, again, swan. It's a swan house, I never knew that. A few hundreds of years ago, these swans would have been prepared for King Machias' royal feast up in the Visegrad Palace. Get it. That's a tremendous name. Harmedic Yeg Virag. Ice Flower the Third. Visegrad. It's an old Slavic word, and it means the place of the superior castle. Plintenburg. I think it's Plintenburg. It's the German name for Visegrad. Haha, <laughs> wow, look at this. The Magyars drifting down the Danube. Oh man. Not quite so similar to the painting back there, but it is a tip-top, wonderful day, and we're out here exploring with my good buddy, Horvat the Eddie. Eddie the Horvat, as they sometimes call him. All right, do you want to go to the top of the castle or to the abandoned bathhouse with graffiti? What's, what's better? Oh yeah, I forgot, they have a palinka museum here. Well, let me guess, you went there and drank a bunch of palinka. I never actually did. I never made it. I think really? they, they said they come on a Monday and I thought it was a Tuesday and so... It's a Tuesday right now, right? Yeah, but now it's closed because of Corona. Oh, there's the church you were talking about. You're right, yeah. that, that, that one is the Visegrad flag on the right. This is Hungarian. What's the middle one? Oh, Visegrad Plintenburg. <laughs> Visegradi papier married to Muhai. Wow. I think it's like a 18th century paper factory. And you know who this is down here? This is Kish Vakont, and this is Vuk Aroka in the Visegradi Gerekek cape. Oh, this could be Lati the Kumin, Lati Kun, and his mother Erzibit, the wife of Utrik Ishvan. Lati Kun, half Cumanian. Ooh, stop the second Tata Yarash in its tracks. And do you see those pine cones, the green stuff on the roof? Why is that? Because the pineal gland makes DMT, and that's the so uh, that's the seat of your soul and your spirit. And uh, the pineal gland is shaped like a pine cone. So that represents the pineal gland. It has to do with spirituality. Is this pine property? Oh, really? yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful house though. So Health that's path. why you want to live here? Lots of juice. Look at the juice. There's literally not on juicy. Bursting out of the walls. I don't think this is a royal palace. I feel like it was a institution of some sort, like a hospital or a nut house. Probably shouldn't say nut house, but loony bin. That's better. A loony bin. 700 years of Visegrad, 1958. 1258. Harmonic Bela. Excuse me, Negidik Bela, the second founder of Hungary, is erecting stone castles like they're going out of style. But it wasn't until after him, far after him in fact, a good 60, 70 years, that this castle really grew into the illustrious stature that it eventually did. And that was first consolidated when the first Anjou king of Hungary, Caro Robert, Caro Roberto of Naples, took the throne at the turn of the 14th century. Can't find Eddie, there he is. I'll give you a head start. Bro, you know I'm gonna win, regard. Oh shit. <laughs> Felikvar, Upper Castle, 20 minutes, 20p. Here we go. Oh, bro, why didn't we bring beers up here? Yeah, that was dumb. Dinosaur. And then, Big Monkey. <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> King Kong. Oh, yeah. That oh, would have been great. The town of Visegrad and Furls Beneath. Zarva, guest caution, closed. All right, we'll be respectful. We've got other places to break into anyway. Nem, Zarva, Zarva, it's pretty officially closed. Like you can't get in at all? I mean, there's a big barricade, uh, 
You can, I just don't really. <laughs> bomb. Sledding. You're such a bomb. All right, let's go down. Mosh. Megyuk. Vishagrave. Mosh. Megyuk. Got one of his foot soldiers to get to the point of doing murder. I feel like he has to manipulate them quite a bit. No, it's only manipulation if they wouldn't do it anyway. What about this one? Is that that? You go that way, I'll go this way. At the beginning of Caroy Roberts' reign, he had to put down a lot of rebellion from disparate clans who weren't too sure about this new Angevin monarchy. You know, he had some distant relatives that were Arpads, but Caroy Robert, he was very much more a man of Naples than he was a man of Hungary. And obviously you have a lot of clans in the outer boundaries of Hungary that have sort of loosened the grip that the Arpads had on centralized power during the years of Utrecht Istvan, Megidik Laszlo, when he was excommunicated for being a Kumin, and beyond Harmadik Andras, the last Arpad king. So there's a very much decentralized basis of power especially when compared to the earlier glory periods of the Arpad regime. Sent Laszlo, for instance, even Istvan and beyond. And now we're at a state where Karoy Robert is trying to consolidate his grip on the Kingdom of Hungary while facing all sorts of rebellions in the outer boundaries, such as the Chak clan, the Kusegis up in the Northwest, so on and so forth. Tweet, tweet. The story of the Za clan. Oh, <laughs> that was a trifling little affair. Yo, Eddie. The shamanic ancient Hungarians immortalized on the graffiti in the abandoned nether regions of Visegrad. Oh, yes. <laughs> These no kirai. Wild. Really appreciate the artistic influence of the modern day Hungarians. Gritty. Authenticus. Yeah, 420 blazing. Why oh, is that a cigar? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Sometimes you don't get to see the top, but you see enough anyway. That's what I like to say on a nice warm spring day. In Visegrad. So we went from the times of Caroy Roberto to Louis the Great and then King Zsigmond. And that was like an 120 year stretch or so of three kings. This 14th century, which all over Europe was very chaotic politically, was not so chaotic in Hungary. I mean, of course there was chaos and plague and this and that and the other, but in terms of the length of reigns, Naj Lajos, Caroy Roberto, and Zsigmond, they had a long stretch. Wow. Simply scintillating, Major Orsak. Simply scintillating. You can notice there's sort of a hybrid between the old looking bottom rocks and this sort of communist era functional reconstructions that probably occurred in the 70s or 80s, if I had to hearken at a guess. Not getting out of cash. Decent, decent. You got it. Oh my god. Lost in the throes of Croatia was Eddie the Horvat. I'm back. What about a story about you as a Croatian robber baron at the beginning of 14th century Hungary when there's a lot of decentralization? in the realm and you in were the just realm. Uh, you were like an istrian like merchant who just dabbled mm. in a whole bunch of different endeavors oh my god istrian merchant is quite the title i would love to be called that eddie the horvat merchant of istria and you were navigating the the surreal and oftentimes Wait, troublesome I'm realities of early Angevin period Hungary. I want to spend time being on a boat and like telling my men. Oh, you, you, you'll spend the majority of your time prowling the Adriatic. Yes. <laughs> majority of your time. Once in a while popping up to Visegrad on a river cruise, coming to a royal Wait, banquet. me and my guys pillage? Uh, you, like, well, they, I think they would have to, to survive. Right? 
Can't you just see a bunch of lords and ladies up on that platform? <laughs> Definitely. Shouting abuse from the galleries. I like to think what the lower classes are doing then. Just hurling tomatoes. Hey. Nice little roadside chapel as we emerge out here onto the main drag. The Corvinus. Latias, because that was his royal insignia, was the holo, the raven. Oh, cool. Yeah, and here we have a holo, the holo, cavezo, esporozo. Would love to get a little farewell drink here. We'll have to come back when things open up soon. The CBA, our oasis in Visegrad. <laughs> nice CBA, to be fair. I wash my soft last Look at this, vegan, vegan. Get a kick, vishegradi, get a kick. Ish halos, ish halok, halok, halok. Vishegradi, nemzet kuzi, palota ye te kok. Ho ho, that looks like a fun event. Ho ho. Egg a shag. Bro, how crazy they have vegan deli meat. How, that's so random. They don't even have that at the store I go to. Not the first thing people think when they meet you that you're a vegan, but you're always full of surprises. Well, I'm not actually. <laughs> can I take all three? Or you want one? You can go for it. You sure? Yeah, I'll use three. Okay. It's a, you know, nice guy, Eddie. Yeah, I guess you're not a vegan. This, this is Gouda. It's good to have an honest vegan. <laughs> Mustard. Oh, this is gonna be a nice sandwich. Good thinking. Dude, you put your mustard on your cheese? You're supposed to put it on the bread. All right, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever, what dude. Kind of barbarian. I'm in a rush. Yeah, well, it's, you know, I've got my uncivil tendencies. Oh, pickle juice, dude. Pickle this, juice? This is exciting. Mmm. <laughs> You literally picked the most bent fucking table. <laughs> There's black ones right They're there. <laughs> but this is by the water. Look at the view. Yeah, you're right. It's unbeatable view. Worth it. Eddie the Horvat. Vegan deli meat. Shaitosh. Kenya sandwich. Aranasok. Golden Aces. Vishegrar. Melet. Vishegradi part. Ho, ho, ho. Waiting for the ferry. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. He's an edge. All the way over there is where the abandoned bathhouse is. Is that big building right there? I don't know if it's that one. I think, it, I think that might be the modern day one, but it's somewhere in those hills. That's pretty amazing. Oh, nice little Dalmatian. Just like you, Eddie, a Dalmatian. Oh, that's a fact. Wait, is Pula part of Dalmatia? <laughs> Maybe not. not. It's Istria. Okay, well, close enough. You're a Horvat. Egeshe. Egeshe. So that's what the village smell is? I think so. I mean, I'm very ignorant on the matter as well, but I believe that's something to do but with I it. But I love that smell. Oh, I forgot to do more wavy stuff. It looks so good on the GoPro. Let me do wavy, wavy. stuff. Wavy? <laughs> okay. Whoa, just like wave it around. Use the stabilizer. Boom! Oh, it's coming in from Prague. Bratislava, Prague. I do want to go. Right now, though. Right now to Prague? Yeah. But this train's coming from Prague. I know, but we can we can go the other way. All right. You want to go? Sounds pretty good, actually. So then we shouldn't get on this one, right? Because 
Köszönöm szépen, szép estét! You coming to Prague? Okay. <laughs> Thank God. We would have been in big trouble otherwise. In Prague? Like, you can... I don't think hotels are open right now. They just look like a serial killer. <laughs> or a blobber. Abandoned. 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 Abandoned.